Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please, before you continue to watch this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button by subscribing to my YouTube channel. So today I was um, at the office and um, someone called that they could not connect to their printer, that their printer is offline. So what I did first was um, I actually tried to ping the IP address of the printer and I realized that the printer was accessible. And I was also able to actually access the printer using the um, Internet Explorer or my, or you could say your Microsoft Edge. So I, could, I observed that the printer was also, also browsable using my um, browser. So I was thinking probably the printer is online. So I asked the user if they change anything on the printer. They said no, they don't even have the right to do that. So I now realize what the cause of the problem is. So I'm going to show you how to solve such problem. So here you can see that this printer is offline. So I just installed a printer on my test environment. It's actually a virtual printer. It's not a real printer. Here you can see I'm having the offline status. So if you're having a real printer, probably you may have the same issue. So what you need to do to actually resolve that issue is to right click on the printer and click properties. And here in your printer properties, and what you need to do is to go to ports. And when I go to ports, here you see I have my IP address, which is, of course, the standard um, TCP IP port I'm using. And there's the printer name. So here you need to click on the configure ports. And what you actually need to do to resolve that problem, to bring the printer online, which actually resolve my um, the user's problem at my work, is to actually uncheck the SNMP status enabled and click OK. Click close. And here you can see that the printer is back online. So let me just try to refresh. So you can see after refreshing that the printer has now come back online. So when I just try to, here you can see that my printer is back in queue and the printer is online. So that is how you resolve actually your printer being offline and how to bring it back online. So you don't actually need to delete this, uh, delete the printer and try to reinstall it again because actually this printer was installed. Here is my domain controller. You can see right now that the printer is back online. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT-related video. So see you next time and goodbye.